Hi guys, Kinsey here with todiefordaily.com. Thanks so much for checking out this excerpt of our exclusive interview with Tom Quinn for our brand new podcast, To Die For Daily. Now I could kick myself for not asking you this earlier because I'm so, this was one of my main questions, but it feels like right now because they want Camilla to be queen consort, it really feels like all these people are coming out of the woodwork to change the narrative that Diana cheated first. And you specifically said, it seems very like unlikely that Diana would have strayed into the arms of other men if Charles would have been able to give up Camilla. Now, I mean, that's all I need, but I just wanted to stress that because I feel the same way you show up on your honey moon and your husband has pictures of his ex-girlfriend i feel emotionally cheated on right then and there yeah, but are yeah. you seeing that at all where all of a sudden people are now saying diana cheated first and do, do you have an opinion i i'm absolutely convinced that diana did not cheat first i think she was really in love with charles she was very innocent then she was swept up by this you know the heir to the throne i think this and we know that charles was seeing camilla even on the night before his wedding to Diana. And he had that uh, very old fact, he's probably the last heir to the British throne to have to grow up with that idea that if you're the heir to the throne or the king, you can have as many mistresses as you like and your wife should just put up with it. I know it's horrible, but that was the tradition. That was the tradition up until then. So I, and I think you're right. I think there are in certain quarters, um, we are being, we're being given this information in a very subtle way that um, Diana Cheek was the first to cheat in order that Camilla should sort of not be criticised, given that she's going to be queen consort. I think that's happening in a very subtle way. Uh, and I think it's not it isn't fair and it isn't true. But of course, in the way of these things, that will happen for a while. And then, you know, some revisionist historian will come along and say, hang on a minute, that's that's completely wrong. It was Charles. who. Well, make you know, it you, Tom. You be the one. <laughs> I'll be the one in my next book. Thank you for listening to the To Die For Daily Podcast with Kinsey Schofield. A transcript of this chat is available at todiefordaily.com. Please subscribe to hear more from your favorite royal commentators. Cheers.